the difference between this, which is a PlayStation 3 controller, mm -hmm. and this, which is a PlayStation 2 controller, is this. What's that you might think? That's the wire. Hello there and welcome to my latest kind of video. A bit of a special one this one. It's a top five countdown. Well, hold your horses before you click away. I'm going to try and be a bit more original with my top fives. Be a bit more sort of, um, but can I just say, to the few people out there that watch these videos and, and like these videos and even those that haven't even discovered it yet it's, it brings me so much joy to know that out there somewhere people have sort of an interest top five gaming moments number five quite a quite an obvious one this one it was a uh, many years ago when i used to look through the magazines of such a thing as the internet something marvelous called the uh, nintendo 64 3D graphics was just unprecedented. I never thought I'd own one. N64 games came like this, little cartridge that you'd slot into the bottom there, and, and that's a game which is, well, when you try and put it into the Nintendo 64, the Nintendo 64 nearly <sighs> dies. It can't handle it, but that's towards the end of its life cycle. I remember when Mario 64 came out, <sighs> I couldn't believe it. The, the, the concept of Mario 64 was so pure and colourful and I'm so glad I was there for it. I'm so glad I got to experience the Nintendo 64 when it hit the market. It, it, it was, 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 it was. Number four. Moving on from the Nintendo 64, moving quite a way down the line, um, I got the PlayStation 3. Can you believe that the PlayStation 3 is nearly 10 years old? <laughs> But what was important for me, more than anything, was the integration of the internet when it came to the PlayStation 3. The leap between the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 3 for me was more than just graphics and sound and gameplay. It was the evolution of using the internet for console gaming. Beforehand, the internet was limited to uh, PC gaming. You, re you really couldn't kind of get involved with that sort of online crowd. But then Call of Duty 4 came out and I was like, well, let's sign up for this online gaming, so I guess the PlayStation could do it. Oh, man, these! These are like plastic cocaine. If you play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, you're more than likely to understand just how engrossing it was. Number three, I've talked about this briefly at the beginning of the video, but the idea to me of having a wireless controller is just beyond beyond imagination. When I had the GameCube, um, there was something called the WaveBird, and that was a wireless controller, but the idea of having something as far out and futuristic as that, well, sorry mate, go back to the future because I don't want you around my house with your monstrous piece of technology. Number two, speech. Speech, you might think. Well, what's so important about speech? Well, there was once a time when speech was really unheard of. On console games, it was limited to text boxes. But when I first played Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo, and we played it, and we did it, and the, the title screen, and there was this, this voice coming out from the Super Nintendo. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. And now, games, you just take it for granted. I guess that's the whole point of this video, is taking things for granted, which were once incredible. And my number one kind of gaming moment, the moment where I just thought this is incredible. The moment that I thought video games were taking leaps and bounds beyond the realms of possibility. Physics. Hmm. Physics. Havoc. The Havoc engine. Years ago now, when it first kind of was pioneered, this is the game that did it for me. Max Payne 2 on the PC. Playing through it, I played through the first one a few times, and yes, the graphics were really good for its time. But there was something some, certainly uncompelling about the way that the people sort of died preset animations. Max Payne 2 came out. Do you remember in, in Max Payne 2 that you're in the hostel, you wake up like... Oh, and then the first thing that happens is a, a security guard, or I guess he's a security guard. Comes, it's pain, I found him. <laughs> and then you shoot him, he's like. <laughs> and he falls through some boxes. Those boxes fall like real world boxes in a video game. <laughs> What's going on? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and listen to me go on about my top five moments in gaming. What I would like to know is what are your top five moments in gaming? Drop me a comment, perhaps even drop me a like. And if you could hit that subscribe button, you can see my next video. I like to post every Monday, every Thursday. Don't forget that you can find me in the links below, on Facebook, on Twitter, and you can follow my blog. Many thanks.